Well, I said a few minutes ago, um, I had uh, peacocks in other mounts, but I was wrong. The peacocks are in another box, but these were so beautiful I just had to put them on. I don't think I've shown them before, but you know, I could be wrong. Here's your signature, uh, Motohide uh, Genshu, but I would call it Motohide with his art name above. Um, the Nanako I told you about, there it is. It's so small, it's actually hard to detect. Believe it or not, these are made one at a time by Nanako experts who, after uh, 30 or 40 years, go blind. Uh, my eyes are getting pretty bad myself, by the way. So, the incredible phoenix, the whole bird here, it's from Chinese legend just as it is from European legend. Famous enough, they name more than one city for it. Gorgeous Shakuro here with a different color to it, a deeper black, the gold in the Polonia. The um, Shakuro Nanako, which is the sine qua non for Japanese sword collectors. It's the best. Sorry, guys, if you have other mounts, but um, rarity and value wise, the Shakuro Nanako is extremely desirable. Here's what it looks like from the point of view of the sword going into it or the Seppa Dai. And you can see as I move it, uh, it's excellent color, excellent condition, very thick. The gold is thick, you can see so much of it. The Shakuro rim or wall, I called it earlier, is thick. The copper insert is thick and the characters are beautifully struck. It, I told many, many, many people when I was 21 and 25, you want to learn about Japanese swords and be an expert like me, the place to start is the Japanese characters, but they don't. They don't want to study the Japanese characters. It's boring. They think it's uh, outdated, which it is. Um, but if you see beautiful characters, you're probably working with a beautiful piece of art. You see very crude and poor characters, you're probably dealing with a um, later copy, reproduction, etc. No one wants to study. So when I say these characters are beautifully struck, without even looking at the book, I can tell it's real. They get all excited. They think I can't tell, but I can. When they see very crude characters, they challenge me. They say, how can you say that, Jim? It looks the same to me. Well, yeah. If you didn't study anything, it may look the same to you, but it sure doesn't look the same to me. Same thing with uh, English writing. You can tell, uh, you know, your daughters and sons uh, first and second and third grade letters, and they're completely different from an adult. Uh, and someone that's a calligrapher making beautiful letters like the Declaration of Independence or something like that, that writing is several levels above what everybody else writes on a daily basis. any rate, the gold work here is absolutely positively amazing and incredible. Um, if you want to be a knowledgeable collector of this type of stuff, let me know. There's only a few of us in the entire world. I'd like to increase by a few.